and welcome to Steve's Monumental Adventure. And we are on episode 32 and we're looking at the amazing Warrington Transporter Bridge. Well, huh, that took some parking. I've just realised that there's not actually a way to get into the uh, Warrington Transporter Bridge. So I've had to park. I don't even know where I'm parked, but um, that's where we are. And I'm right next to the River Mersey, right? Um, and that is where the Transporter Bridge is. So I know that there's a little trail down here um, that I'm going to follow. Um, and you see I'm on a really busy sort of area um, I think we're still in Warrington we must be um, another swing bridge down there look and that must be the uh, the ship canal there because the ship canal and the um, and the Mersey kind of meet at this kind of point but anyway, to the left of me in a minute, there should be, to the right, sorry, there should be a pathway that should lead us right round to the transporter bridge. Ha ha, here it is. Okay. And I think this is um, some sort of designated footpath or some kind. So, we will see. It's apparently a bit of a walk, this is. But, I don't know, we've got to do what we've got to do, haven't we? Seems a nice sort of uh, corridor. I don't know what we're against here. Is this a little, little pond or is there an old canal of some kind? Some lovely properties along this uh, stretch of canal. Well, I mean, it, it looks like a canal. It's certainly not the River Mersey, is it? This company here, that you can see it says Effluent Outfall. What a name. Anyway, what I'm saying, basically, it's a factory. There's a chemical works, and this is their water outlet. So this is making its way into the Mersey now. Um, so you look at it, it's pouring out of there. It's nice to see the sun starting to come out as well. We haven't seen the Mersey yet, although we've seen that little tributary there which is putting water back into the Mersey, so hopefully we'll see it shortly. This is quite a nice um, walkway here. This has been planted over the last 10 years or so. Um, these trees don't seem that old, but what a lovely sort of avenue. Now over here, over the Mersey, on this route, we're going to see a few old bridges. Um, all sorts of types of bridges along here, um, which we'll... I think I can just about see some rusty old bridge coming up in the near distance. So what we now need to remember is that the Mersey, which I can see, is a kind of but almost like a tidal river, I suppose, isn't it? It goes to the estuary anyway. Um, and um, yeah, so look at it along here. We've got all these willow trees either side. So there we get our first glimpse of the River Mersey. So here's our first bridge here. It looks like a railway line. Um, it looks like we've actually got um, the railway on a sort of older... There's an older bridge and then the railway's been built on top of that. It must look like them, a modern line as well. So with any luck, this should be the track that will lead us around to the transporter bridge. Nice uh, set of stairs here, rude not to go. It gives us a chance to look at this bridge, look at it. Look at it, how those stones are just cut. What a lovely design. It's got spray creek underneath it though, to probably see. Oh, I see what this is. It's a walkway across. I see, I see, I see. Oh, that's all right then. So there we've got the Mersey. And then across here, 
Look at that, we've got another railway bridge there. survived two world wars and the worst of the British weather but in its centenary year there are worries that the huge Warrington transporter bridge could be left to collapse. Yeah, it straddles the Mersey in the centre of Warrington far from letting it succumb to corrosion. A group has been set up to save it and they say it could be Warrington's Angel of the North. This is our Cheshire reporter Mark Edwardson. 76 feet high, spanning 200 feet across the Mersey, the Warrington Transporter Bridge has seen better days. It's Grade 2 star listed and a scheduled monument, but it's also on English Heritage's at-risk register. Now there's a fear its owner, Warrington Borough Council, is turning a blind eye. My biggest fear is that if nobody takes an interest in this, and Warrington Council doesn't care, it will simply fall down, and I have a horrible suspicion that's what they want to happen. Europe was at war when the bridge was built in 1915. It was constructed to connect two halves of the Crossfield and Sons chemical and soap works. There were three transporter bridges built across the Mersey in the early part of last century. There was another just a little bit downstream from this one, and a third between Widnes and Runcorn. But this is the only survivor. Well, it was built at the time of sailing ships, so the idea was it had to be built 70 feet above the, high, above the water, really, so that ships at that time could get underneath. In the same year that Jerry and the Pacemakers recorded one of their biggest hits, the Warrington Transporter Bridge ferried its last load across the Mersey. Warrington Council rejects claims it would rather see the back of it. It's unique in the world as being a railway transporter bridge. Uh, the issue is uh, that we really need to undertake the wider regeneration of the area to bring it out in its true glory. This could be to Warrington what the Angel of the North is, is to Gearside. It's a magnificent structure. It's an icon in its own right. A Facebook site set up to gather support for the bridge already has almost 300 members. Mark Edwardson, BBC Northwest Tonight, Warrington. This is the amazing Warrington Transporter Bridge, or also known as Bank Key Bridge or Crossfield Transporter Bridge. But one thing that is clear, it is the only rail transporter bridge in the entire world. The bridge has a span of 61 metres and 23 metres tall, which allows larger ships to navigate up the Mersey. The overall length of the bridge is 103 metres. 
The bridge was first commissioned in 1916 and it was designed by Henry Hunter and was built by William Arrell & Co. This was one of two bridges of its kind on the River Mersey. The transporter bridge spent most of its time ferrying wagons and trains across to the nearby cement works. In the early 1940s it was decided that it was going to be converted to take cars and it could carry up to 30 tonnes at a time. By 1964, the bridge had seen its last passengers. Now a Grade 2 listed structure and a scheduled ancient monument, the hope of the renovation of the bridge lies solely within the friends of the Warrington Transporter Bridge. The engineering behind a transporter bridge is fairly simple. You have what you call a travelling crane which runs on rails above and it sort of that is pulled by a selection of ropes and wires. The cables hang down and suspend the gondola which is where the vehicles go. It's quite a simple thing really. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little uh, collection of um, um, clips of the location. So, it's surprising how many bridges are along the Manchester Ship Canal and the Mersey. Um, some amazing structures, really. Um, well worth hunting them out. I mean, this transporter bridge, this is not accessible. Um, <laughs> To the public um, and the reason being is because um, most of it is within an industrial estate so that's a, a bit annoying but when you've got a drone everywhere is accessible isn't it anyway i hope you enjoyed the um the trip because i think we had uh, some great locations on that one um i mean if you love bridges then this is just perfect for you isn't it but i hope You'll uh, join us again on another video. I want you to like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next video.